Good day everyone. Today we will be learning the automated furrow irrigation system or a fees. Here we will be discussing about the situational analysis, about the fees or automated furrow irrigation system, problem analysis, stakeholder analysis, decision analysis, external factors that can influence the acceptance of a fees, and the advantages and disadvantages of using a fees. The rise in global average temperature is associated with widespread changes in weather patterns. Scientific studies indicate that extreme weather events such as heat waves and large storms are likely to become more frequent or more intense with human-induced climate change. While the weather can change in minutes or hours, a change in climate is something that develops over longer periods of decades to centuries. The frequency, duration, and intensity of weather events such as heat waves, cold spells, Storms, floods, and droughts become unpredictable. Hence, traditional agriculture activities need a technical and scientific approach to increasing productivity. An irrigation system is one of the primary interventions in agriculture to support the growth of planted crops. However, the watering of plants must be accurate and through the precise timing to attain its potential rather than relying on natural precipitation which is highly unreliable. All about the FIS or the Automated Furrow Irrigation System, this is a form of smart irrigation system that can substitute labor-intensive and conventional irrigation activity. The project was implemented by Central Luzon State University under Dr. Amando N. Espino Jr. to farm sugarcane, but the model can be replicated in other type of farming. Afis have the capacity to set specific time and apply precise amount of water thereby increase efficiency in utilization of limited water resources. Similarly, Afis can be deployed off-grid for remote farming where no energy utility is available using solar or wind energy source. This is a climate-resilient innovation due to uncertainty in climate pattern to support farmers increase crop yield without worrying on seasonal timing which has become unpredictable due to climate change. The AFIS can contribute to disaster risk management aspect of prevention, mitigation as well as preparedness. On the aspect of prevention and mitigation, the AFIS technology enhanced the capacity of the sugarcane producers to be sensitive to environmental management bids. The improvement of the water irrigation infrastructure system particularly to address conditions of drought cause and inefficient implementation of irrigation systems contributed to the mitigation of the impacts of high temperature in the dry season. From the conventional method requiring more input of manpower resources, poor water use efficiency, low energy inputs amidst the decline in availability of irrigation water, AFIS have increased community resiliency with a scientific-based solution for agricultural concerns. Also, the several studies that analyzed vulnerability assessment in the area map on out potentials of floods, droughts, Typhoon and soil erosion was already demonstrated thereby providing information to the potential hazards in the community. The introduction of an automated irrigation system was a research-based solution to the risk assessment on an unsystematic sourcing of water supply by farmers. Having a conventional irrigation system waiting for nature to provide the needed water and plague with drought were the identified several factors affecting the farmers in the terrain with an automated system. There is apparent good environmental management addressing not only crop production problems, but as well as improving soil condition and in turn contributing to low impacts of drought. Moreover on the aspect of preparedness, this technology generated high community awareness of the environmental condition of the area and promoted the understanding of the risk factors involved. With a fees, it provided an automatic mechanism where farmers are able to cope and recover from the incidents of drought. It was noted that the general water savings gained reached as much as 2,020 cubic meters per hectare with a yield of 58% higher than using a conventional furrow irrigation system. The anticipation for extensive labor just to provide sufficient water to crops has already been replaced with a digitalized solution facilitating sugarcane production by helping farmers save water and increase crop yield. On problem analysis, Farming using the conventional irrigation system has somehow provided the needed water supply for crops for some time, but the changes in the temperature, this has increased the need to find more efficient solutions to adequately supply the requirements of farm production. Most often, farming in the local areas is dependent on the rain-initiated agricultural system.
This means that crops depend on the sufficiency of available water bodies in the areas, making sure that the flow of water is constructed to reach the plantation. However, due to the recent effects of climate change, there is then insufficient rainfall and a more frequent occurrence of flooding and typhoons including the increased incidence of pests affecting crop production. One of the key problems that led to the development of AFIS was climatological hazards that caused the rise of extreme temperatures. Most of the time, droughts are the major culprit to problems of water loss, which has been the main reason why irrigation systems have improved over time. As crop farmers aim to boost farm production, they are constantly challenged by the scarcity of irrigation water. Not yet, in every developed innovation, finding the most efficient method or tool to harness sufficient water for the type of crops produced is dependent on the available water delivery infrastructure, the employed cropping practices, the different field layouts, and the soil conditions of the area. Furrow irrigation is a type of surface irrigation where water flows in evenly spaced corrugates and water flow is done for 12 to 24 hours but the duration depends on the furrow length in soil, water, and management directions. The inflow irrigation is used what is supplied by pipes. Automation of water flow in furrow systems with a device that adjusts sufficient water flow on the furrows per irrigation was the highlight of the innovation of AFIS. The cited problem of providing adjusted flow in each furrow per irrigation frequency is directly solved by the innovation. On stakeholder analysis we have gathered from different stakeholder groups who made the decision to utilize this particular digital technology such as on farmers, on sugarcane producers, on research team, CLSU, on local government units, on consumer, and on laborers, on decision analysis. The process of furrow irrigation is one of the ways that can directly address the wastage of limited water resources provide low-cost simply irrigation management that is easy to operate and efficient water saving techniques. This digitalization can be powered by renewable solar energy that is purposely created for off-grid or remote areas to increase the sustainability of the system or can be connected to the grid for those who have access to the traditional power source. The external factors that can influence the acceptance of office are as follow. The social factors the technological factors and the economic factors. While there are also disadvantages of using a fees, like highly dependent on installed equipment, the problems that may potentially arise for AIN is the maintenance operations for both the equipment and the solar energy power for the equipment requiring technical expertise that might not be always available in the remote areas, particularly among farmers. Constant technical support, data generated by the equipment will have to be analyzed and interpreted by experts and may not be accessible to farmers easily or data will not be appreciated due to short-sightedness on the management of a digitalized system. Financial capacity of farmers, funding maintenance costs will have to be lodged foremostly with the government or the institution that developed or provided the automated system and eventually incidental maintenance costs will be turned over to the Farmers Association. Outcans, challenges to fully sustain the digitalized solution will also be affected by the financial capacity of the farmers, their technical competencies and the willingness of farmers to be trained in this area. And the field trial stage, the project has only been recently applied to the community setting. It will also have to take at least five years to conduct an impact assessment study to determine if the total benefits from the development of the innovation towards its actual use outweighs the total experimental development and other opportunity costs. Only through impact assessment studies can we conclude that the substitution of labor-intensive conventional irrigation system to automated solar or great power system was indeed the better alternative. That's all for the automated furrow irrigation system or a fuse. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead.